grade 12 physical science learners. Uh, the topic for today is on optical phenomena and properties of materials, uh, the photoelectric effect. Uh, this topic uh, links uh, with grade 10 topic on electromagnetic radiation where you were taught that uh, the photon uh, is the packet of energy. You receive energy uh, in packets. Uh, frequency uh, increases uh, with wave energy uh, in the electromagnetic spectrum. Energy is directly proportional to frequency. E is equal to HF Energy is equal to Planck's constant and multiplied by frequency. Also, you were told that uh, the speed of light is equal to frequency and multiplied by wavelength. C is equal to F and multiplied by lambda. Energy is equal to a Planck's constant H multiplied by speed of light C uh, over a wavelength. Then uh, the units for frequency are the hertz, H capital letter, small letter Z, or uh, per second, uh, S to the power minus one. The units for energy are the joules, J. Then the units uh, for wavelength are the meters. So with regard to wavelength, remember the conversion that uh, if you are given micrometers, uh, you must multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 in order to have meters. If you are given nanometers, uh, you must multiply by 10 to the power minus 9 meters. Values for Planck's constant H and speed of light uh, are given on the data sheet. The value for Planck's constant is 6,63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joules dot second. Then the unit for speed of light is 3,0 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So there's no need to memorize them because uh, they are given uh, on the data sheet. Let me introduce this topic by asking this question. In a microwave uh, at home, uh, what is the reason uh, of putting a glass or a plastic material? You do not put the enamel plate or the enamel spoon or the enamel mark because they are made up of metal surfaces. Uh, they would they are going to emit light. Then at home you must be aware that uh, you don't put a metal surface uh, on the microwave because uh, you are causing a photoelectric effect because it's going to emit electrons. Therefore photoelectric effect is a process whereby electrons are ejected from a metal surface when light uh, of suitable frequency is incident on the surface, uh, goes, if you say it's incident on the surface, you mean goes through the surface. For electrons uh, to be ejected from the metal surface, you need minimum amount of energy called a work function. A capital letter W, then subscript zero. Work function is the minimum energy required that an electron in the metal needs to be emitted from the metal surface. Please uh, memorize uh, this definition. A work function is the minimum energy required that an electron in the metal needs to be emitted from the metal surface. Different materials have different work functions. Work function, a capital letter W, a subscript zero, is equal to Planck's constant H multiplied by frequency, a subscript zero, 
F0 subscript is known as cut off frequency or threshold frequency or lowest frequency photon. Threshold frequency or a cut off frequency a F subscript 0 is the minimum frequency of light needed uh, to eject electrons uh, from a certain metal there surface. are conditions uh, for photoelectric effect uh, these conditions uh, are given by uh, scientists like Einstein's like Einstein's uh, conditions of photoelectric effect when the energy of photon E or HF is greater than zero Part of the energy of the photon is used to release electrons and the rest of the energy is converted into maximum kinetic energy. When the energy of the photon is greater than the wave function of the material, part of the energy of the photon is used to release electrons and the rest of the energy is converted into maximum a kinetic energy so that's why you come up with this uh, equation hf uh, Planck's constant uh, multiplied by frequency is quite to work function w a uh, subscript zero a uh, plus a uh, kinetic energy maximum half mv squared maximum then at cut of frequency a uh, f a uh, subscript zero all the energy of the photon is equal to the work function. Therefore, you can say that HF energy is equal to a work function, a WU, a subscript zero. And the maximum kinetic energy of the photon is zero in that particular uh, condition. The energy of the photon electron is the straight line graph where the x intercept is the cut off frequency therefore you can come up with this equation that Planck's constant h multiplied by h multiplied by cut off frequency is equal to work function plus zero as indicated in the next figure where we are having the kinetic energy on the vertical axis and the frequency on the horizontal axis then we have uh, that f a subscript zero the cut of frequency the cut of frequency uh, which is the x intercept uh, in the graph when the energy uh, of a photon is less than the work function there is no photoelectric effect no electrons are ejected when hf is less than zero there is no photoelectric effect no electrons are ejected can you have an example with regard to the above information like the problem the work function of cesium uh, is 3,36 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 joules calculate one the lowest frequency a photons or cut off or cut off frequency should have to eject electrons from cesium then number two a calculate at the maximum kinetic energy of electron ejected from cesium by a photon of light of wavelength 400 nanometers then the solution to this problem one where you are required to calculate uh, the lowest frequency photon or uh, the cut of frequency then you write the formula work function a uh, capital letter w zero subscript equal to Planck's constant multiplied by cut of frequency then when you substitute the work function is 3,36 multiplied by 10 power minus 19 equals to Planck's constant, which is 6,6 .6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34, multiplied by cut of frequency F0. Then the answer of the cut of frequency or of the lowest frequency photon is 5,09 multiplied by 
10 to the power 14 hertz because the units for frequency are the hertz. Please uh, check uh, the calculation. Then in number two, you were required to calculate the maximum kinetic energy. Then you write the equation as it is from the data sheet where you are having E is equal to work function uh, plus maximum kinetic energy. Then since you don't have energy, at least you can have energy is equal to a Planck's constant H multiplied by C speed of light over wavelength equals to work function a plus maximum kinetic energy. Then when we substitute, the Planck's constant is 6,63 multiplied by 10 power minus 34 multiplied by speed of light uh, which is 3 multiplied by 10 to power 8 over over the wavelength which is 400 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 because they have converted the nanometers into meters by multiplying by 10 to the power minus 9 equals to work function uh, which is 3,36 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 plus a maximum a kinetic energy ek maximum then the answer to your mathematics is 1,61 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power min minus 19 joules and uh, you can check uh, the mathematics another aspect important in this topic is the atomic line emission spectra then under atomic line emission spectra, you are given the atomic spectrum and the absorption spectrum. Uh, when, when you are talking about atomic spectrum, when you hit a low pressure gas, for example, hydrogen gas or helium gas spectrum, uh, consists uh, of a number of distinct lines of different colors against a black background you can check a figure two or google at uh, the atomic spectrum then when you talk of absorption spectrum when white light is passed through a cool gas a colored spectrum with dark lines will be formed because some of the frequencies are mixed a uh, figure three uh, for understanding uh, this difference between atomic spectrum and absorption spectrum is better uh, to have a look uh, at the figures so you can google the figures then uh, that's all with regard to this topic uh, you can read it try to understand it consult as many question papers as possible thank you for today